Hey YouTube, Common Collector here, and today I am going over a budget version of Tunes. Now, this is a little bit of a tough area to come around because Tunes are extremely expensive right now. But, you know, they are a pretty decent deck. They're not like totally rogue status or anything on the top tier level. But, you know, like it is a pretty good deck and it's just so much fun, so much nostalgia for old players. So I figured I'd do this little budget profile for you guys to show you different ways that you can run this deck. So I'm going to go over my like basically full budget version of the deck where like if you're trying to go full power with, you know, no budget restrictions. I'm, uh, I already did a full deck profile on that, so I'm going to go over that really quickly just to lay everything out here. And then I'm going to go over all of the budget options and then how to uh, do the extra deck. So we're just going to head on into it. I'm just going to start laying some cards out. So in my original build, I was playing three Black Luster, uh, three of the Tomb Black Luster Soldier. He can banish problem cards. He can special summon himself. And he's like really, really easy to get onto the field. Sorry, I'll try to get the focus back there. And then I'm playing the three Toon Dark Magician because Toon Dark Magician is actually pretty crucial for the deck because you really want to make sure that you can get into that Toon Kingdom or Toon World, whatever you're going to be playing. Because if you're going for a budget version, Toon Kingdom is extremely expensive right now. But I, I uh, just stay tuned. I am going to be showing you guys. You guys can play the one Toon Kingdom in this deck and it'll still pretty much run the same way. Then I'm playing two copies of the Toon Red Eyes. He can special summon stuff to the field and then uh, from your hand. The uh, two copies of Toon Harpy Lady and then, um, you know, because this will destroy your opponent's spells and traps. One Toon Dark Magician Girl because it can attack on the turn that it's summoned. And then for our non tune cards we are playing three copies of blackstone of legend and then three nibiru so again this is like my uh expensive version of the deck i'm just trying to go through here really quick the reason why I like nibiru was in my original build is because if you get nibiru onto your opponent's board then you can go ahead and tribute your opponent's monsters put out a big nibiru token and then just steal it with comic hand the three tune kingdom obviously we're going to be dropping those and then your three tune table of contents and three bookmark. Now this is where I'm going to be really, really firm here that you need to keep these six cards in your deck. Tune bookmark is sitting at about $15 right now, I believe, somewhere around there. If you guys know how to like shop the deals and whatnot on Facebook, like Facebook groups or Facebook marketplace, try to get your hands on three copies of Tune bookmark because it will pay off. Then we are going on to the three comic hand and then uh, three tune uh, book or page flip, then three extravagance. Obviously, extravagance is not going to be staying in the build, not even at one copy. And then, ooh, I got to find room for all the cards here. Um, but yeah, this this uh, version of the deck that I will be showing you in a quick second here, I believe, is still um, not at the same power level, obviously, but is pretty comparable. So, um, you know, if you're trying to play on a budget, so here we go, we're finishing with Mimicat, Shadow Toon, Monster Reborn, Terraforming, and One Toon Terror. Now that does stay pretty consistent through the rest of the deck, you know, like, uh, these are going to stay here even in the budget forms. The only thing that will be leaving is the Mimicat, I believe I did opt to take that out in the deck. So, uh, the way that I am going to suggest playing this, if you're trying to... Um, stick with the tunes and go with like a pure tune build, but you want to go ahead and throw out a little bit more of a budget option. So now I want to get into talking about what to absolutely keep in this deck and what you can go ahead and take out. So the reason why I said you need to be keeping in these cards, the consistency boosters, the three tune table of contents and the three bookmark. The reason why you need these cards in here is because these six cards here along with like the three Toon Dark Magician and whatnot, are going to really help you to competitive, like play just like the competitive decks are going to be doing. So um, uh, the way that I'm going in with the budget build is I'm only playing like two of the uh, Toon BLS, cutting out the Nibirus completely, cutting out the Pot of Extravagance, and cutting out two of the Toon Page Flip, as well as um, the two Toon Kingdom out of the deck and just keeping the one Toon Kingdom. And then the rest of the deck basically focuses on just stealing your opponent's regular monsters, not Nibiru, but whatever like big boss monster they can get out, try to steal with Comic Hand. And then um, any, you know, if you draw into a few copies of these on your opening hand, 
you can just use the one tune table of contents to search out your tune bookmark and then hopefully use the or uh, sorry use tune table of contents to get your one copy of tune kingdom and then use tune bookmark to hopefully get your uh, comic hand out of the deck or your tune page flip whatever you need so um, let's just get on into the budget options. So to get rid of the two Toon BLS, what I'm suggesting is to play two copies of Toon Cyber Dragon. So if you play two Toon Cyber Dragon, that's going to open up avenues in your extra deck, which are ultimately not that expensive. And um, so you get a little bit of removal with him with... Um, your Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon in the extra deck. Basically what you do is you summon this out if your opponent has a monster on the field and you control no monsters. So opening hand, you get a Toon Table of Contents, Toon Bookmark or something. Then you just drop, uh, search out your Toon Cyber Dragon, drop that on the field. And then if your opponent has a monster in the extra monster zone, you just take this and that monster and summon out your Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, which is going to allow you to have a nice beefy monster and they're going to lose whatever they have. Like if you're playing up against another budget deck, maybe they have like a Saryuja or a, uh, a Borlo Dragon or something like that. And so that's just going to help you to take more advantage of the board. Uh, then going on, like I said, we're playing, we're still keeping in the two Toon Dark Magician, keeping in the Red Eyes Toon. And then just to, um, since it's not going to be really all that important, I think uh, I would probably drop down one of the Toon Harpy Ladies and then swap in a Toon Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf is going to help you discard cards out of your opponent's hand. And then I would still keep in the Toon Dark Magician Girl just because I really do like this in there. Uh, it helps, you know, it can attack on the turn that it's summoned and whatnot. Then going on over here, obviously we're going to keep the three Blackstone of Legend. This card just got a reprint in the Legendary Duelist Season 1 set that came out a few days ago. So this card is actually pretty budget nowadays. And so then we're going to go on into the three Nibiru, and we're just going to replace those with three Toon Mermaids. Because uh, the way that Mermaid really helps in this deck is that if you can draw into two of them on your opening hand... That's going to allow you to get just two tributes if you don't have your Blackstone of Legend. You can just tribute these two off to nor because they can special summon themselves to the board since they are no tribute monsters. Basically, the effect of Toon Mermaid says that um, you can special summon this to the field by tributing the same number of tributes that it would require, which is zero. So you just summon this onto the board and uh, special summon two of them onto the board or special summon this one and then one Toon Harpy. Destroy one of your opponent's spell and trap cards and then go ahead and tribute summon for one of these guys which is then going to help get you more advantage on the board. And then going on just to replace the two Toon Kingdom. Obviously we just need two Toon Worlds but um, it's really not very comparable just because Toon World is just so darn good, or Toon Kingdom, I'm sorry, is so good. Uh, Toon World is just kind of a trash card nowadays because you have to pay a thousand life points to activate it. But overall, if you're trying to go for a budget version, you just can't slide in more than one of these Toon Kingdoms. So um, even one Toon Kingdom right now is costing like 70 bucks. So if you guys can't even afford one Toon Kingdom... Obviously, just swap in one more Toon World. So, um, what you guys are seeing here, I have all of the original deck in my cream or like white sleeves, and then all of the new cards for the budget version are in these red sleeves. So, with that, obviously, we're keeping the three Toon Table of Contents, three Toon Bookmark, and then I really want to try to keep the three Comic Hand because one, it's a really funny card. And so, like, this is a Toon deck, keep in mind, so it's supposed to be fun. So I like keeping the three comic hand just for like that um, that fun aspect of it. And then getting onto the tune page flip. If you guys don't know what tune page flip does, is that you pick three of your tune monsters and then your opponent selects one at random and special summons it to the board. This is a big reason why you're able to play like BLS at that ratio with only playing with one because Toon BLS is still a $15 card. So again, if you're going for a budget version, the still this budget version that I'm going over is going to cost about uh, $150 to $200, depending on what you guys like have at your dispersal um, or at your disposal. Sorry. Um, 
But yeah, like I still think like uh, this is a good version to start with. And then as you start to accumulate the cards, if you have an, an extra $30 laying around one day, order two more Toon BLS. And then you get another $30 off your next paycheck, order three more, or order two more copies of your Toon page flip. And then eventually try to work towards more Toon Kingdoms and whatnot. Then moving on, we are going to be playing one copy of Instant Fusion in order to replace one of our uh, Toon page flips. So Instant Fusion is really great to work with your Toon Cyber Dragon because you put Panzer Dragon into the extra deck along with like Thousand Eyes Restrict just for a little bit of spot removal. And then with the Instant Fusion, you can uh, also get out Thi Thousand Eyes Restrict just to steal one of your opponent's monsters, somewhat like Comic Hand, link it off for Link Karibo or just tribute it for if you need a tribute summon for like your uh, Toon Cyber or for uh, Toon Dark Magician Girl or whatever you really need. But then going on just one Upstart Goblin just to increase the consistency. We really need this deck to be as consistent as possible uh, just because we are lower on the ratios of what we want this deck to be at. Then to replace the three Pot of Extravagance, I'm just going to say to play... Uh, two copies of Mirror Force and one Toon Terror. This is really all you need just to get the rest of your plays up and going because the Toon Terror is just going to be a really nice Omni Negate as long as you have a Toon on the board and we are playing a pretty large number of Toon Monsters in the deck. Uh, and then like the Mirror Force, especially if you are only able to get the Toon World onto the board instead of Toon Kingdom, you need Mirror Force on because you're not going to be able to protect your Toons because if you guys don't know yet what Toon Kingdom does, when you activate it, you banish the top three cards off your deck. That's really not that important. But then um, while this is on the board, if any of your Toons are going to be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can just banish the top card off your deck instead so mirror force is just going to be in here for battle protection obviously and just a little bit of removal um and then the two the two copies of toon terror are going to be to make sure that if you do get your one copy of toon kingdom onto the board that you make sure that it stays there the toon terror is searchable through toon table of contents and toon bookmark as well as by toon dark magician so as long as you can get your one toon kingdom on the board as well as your uh, one copy of Toon Terror, you should be able to defend your stuff pretty likely, as well as any other stuff that your opponent would really be throwing at you. You can go ahead and, uh, um, you know, destroy other stuff with your Toon Harpy. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, one last suggestion that I would maybe make is instead of uh, taking out the Toon Harpy, I would probably just maybe get rid of the Mimicat and go ahead and replace that with your Toon Gemini Elf. And that's actually going to help you with your budget a little bit more. The Toon Harpy Lady is going down quite a bit in price, unless you're playing the uh, Collector's Rare version, uh, which, which I am, because I was fortunate enough to get a Collector's Rare Toon Harpy Lady and a Collector's uh, Toon Bookmark, but that's not important. Um, I probably would not suggest playing the Collector's Rare versions, because they are a lot more expensive, and this is a budget build. So now, lastly, what I want to do, if this deck is still a little bit too much for you, the next things that I would suggest would be just, again, replace, uh, now, now I'm going to be switching to blue sleeves for like the full budget version. If you uh, cannot still afford three copies of Toon Kingdom, go ahead and just replace with one Toon World right there. And if affording all of these comic hands and whatnot is too much, maybe just swap in one more Toon Terror. And you could even go ahead and, if you can't afford stuff like, um, I don't know, anything else in this main deck, like BLS or even your uh, Toon Page Flip, you could swap in another Toon Harpy Lady. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. And then you could even make a few other adjustments with like Toon Briefcase, Toon Mask, and Toon Masked Sorcerer. I just don't really like the Toon Masked Sorcerer in here because if you're playing full budget, and you, um, you know, if you don't have Toon Kingdom on the board to protect your Toon monsters, then Toon Mass Sorcerer with his 500 attack is not really going to be doing anything for you. So, lastly, I'm just going to get the rest of these full, full budget cards out of here. We're still going to be going off of this, like our $200 build. And now let's go on into the extra deck a little bit. So, like I've already mentioned with the Cyber Dragon cards, we're going to be playing one Cyber Dragon Infinity, as well as one Cyber Dragon Nova. That's going to really help us to get some negates, which we 
uh, kind of need with this deck. Obviously, we have the Tomb Terror, but if your opponent is going to be making it their main goal to get rid of your Tomb Kingdom, so as long, the more negates that we can get on the board, the better. As well as the one Chimera Tech Mega Fleet, Panzer Dragon, and Thousand Eyes Restrict for your instant fusion targets. So just keep in mind we're playing the instant fusion in here to make sure that we can get out one of these two guys. Especially if you can get the Panzer Dragon, then you overlay with another uh, Toon Cyber Dragon, go into Cyber Dragon Nova, and then go into the Cyber Dragon Infinity. Or, again, you just get out the Toon Cyber Dragon and then steal your opponent's monster, go into Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. Getting back into the XCs, though, since we are playing the three copies of Toon Mermaid, I want to suggest Totally Awesome and Bahamut Shark. Since Totally Awesome is limited to one right now, it is decently cheap. And I highly suggest you guys still just at least get your, your hands on this card while it is sitting at one, because... If this does come semi-limited or unlimited on the next ban list or in a future ban list, the price will go up a little bit. So overall, this extra deck is not going to cost too much, maybe about $30 to $40, depending on what you do and don't have. So then going on, we are playing one Tornado Dragon, one Abyss Dweller, and one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This also just got a really nice reprint in that Legendary Duelist Season 1. So... Um, since we are playing level 7 monsters, the Red Eyes Flare is going to be very helpful. And if you can just um, destroy your opponent's board, get Red Eyes Flare on the board, and then your opponent has to recuperate and try to blow up your board, they're going to go through so many of their life points trying to get around that Red Eyes Flare that uh, it's just going to be a really tough time for them. Then going on into the links, I'm playing the one Link Karibo, since we're playing a few of the level 1s with the Thousand Eyes Restrict, as well as your Blackstone of Legend. One Nightmare Cerberus, one Barricade Borg Blocker to recover or uh, defend and search your field spells. And one Decode Talker and one Borolo Dragon for a rank 4. So overall guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Please uh, let me know what you guys thought about this. This is kind of an odd deck to be doing since um, tunes are extremely expensive. But I didn't really want to give up that this budget version of the deck couldn't be done so guys let me know in the comments what you thought about how uh, about this deck how it works if you guys liked this version of me like doing a deck profile this way because and uh, if you guys want to look more in detail on like my full budget version of this deck go ahead and please check that out i'll leave a link in the description below uh, besides that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me some comments on what you thought about this video or if there's any other budget or expensive builds that you guys want to see. Thank you very much for watching. Common Collector out.